Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of Smart Point Learning Series by Travelport Central and West Africa. In this video, we will learn about fair shopping. Fair shopping offers comparison of tariff data and seat availability into a single request. It will help you to save time and give faster access to lower fares. Fair shopping can quote fares for up to 8 flight segments and 9 passengers. It can also search public, private and net fares. There are two ways to perform flight search using fare shopping. First way is by using graphical interface and another way is through cryptic entries. So first of all, we will learn to perform flight search using graphical interface. For this purpose, you'll have to click here and select flight shopping search. You have radio buttons here from where you can select that whether it is going to be a round trip or one way then we will have to specify the origin which we will keep a bit churn after this we will have to specify the departure date let's say 22nd September if you want to allow multi airport search then click here otherwise leave it as it is then we will have to specify the destination which will be Paris and return date should be 25th October. It is also possible to specify airline as per your requirement. You will just have to click here and then specify the airline. If you want to specify multiple airlines then click on this plus button and from here you can specify more airlines if you don't want to specify any airline just leave it blank and come here you also have the option to specify the cabin if you don't have any particular preference then you can leave it as it is or select no preference from here you can specify the number of passengers and finally you have the option to overwrite the currency once you are done with your selections just click here on search button so you may see the results in ascending order as per price you may click on airline code or city code or equipment code to see their names below each pricing you can see this D which means details once you click on it it will show you the details of that particular pricing option as you can see it shows you total journey time last date to purchase ticket fare details and whether a ticket is refundable or not and this particular fare is non-refundable apart from this you have this R here you can click on it to see the rules of a particular pricing option after clicking you will be presented with these fare components and you can further click on any of them to see its conditions. Click here to go back to pricing options. You also have this filter button here. By using this option, you can filter your results as per airports, airlines and timings. If you click here on this map button then system will show you 
the itinerary of selected option on map. Here you also have several parameters to sort the pricing options. To go back to your search results, you can click on this back button. If you click here on price, then this window will be presented in front of you from where you can choose desired branded fare. It is possible to choose branded fare for multiple segments of your itinerary. We have one more option here which is called trip quote. To add an option to trip quote, you may click on plus TQ. As you can see, I have added these three options to trip code. Trip code basically helps you to filter desired option which you think will be suitable for your passenger and you may access them by clicking here on trip code. You can select all or some particular options as per your choice and then click on action button. You can copy these options in the form of itinerary by selecting copy to clipboard option. Then you can paste it in email body to send it to your client. Or you can directly email them by clicking on email option and then filling required details. Before using this built-in email option, make sure that email configuration has already been done in your smart point. For this purpose, you can contact our help desk. You can click on this preview button before proceeding further to see how it will look like in email or when you will copy it and paste in your email. If you want to add service fee, or markup to your pricing options then you may add it by clicking here on this fees button before sending it to your client and finally we have this book which is written in green color you may click on it to book your pricing option and enter details like name phone number receipt from field etc and then end transact to generate a booking file. So this is how you perform fair shopping using graphical interface. Now the format of cryptic entry would be FS then origin then you write the travel date and then destination. If it is a multi-airport itinerary, then write travel date, and further write another city code, and press enter to perform search. So here you may see the search results. Rest of the things work in the same fashion which we have learned when we performed fair shopping using graphical interface. You can type x slash fs in your terminal to learn more about modifiers you can use with fs entry. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And please like and share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos like this.